Good morning, pilots. Uh, today, what I want to talk to you about is uploading or updating the uh, Waypoint database file on your Fly360 tactical flight computer. Um, this would be the same procedure for updating the maps or updating the airspaces. Today, we're going to focus on the Waypoints. Uh, first thing I want you to do is go to, the, uh, to my website, which is flycobo.ca. Go to the links page at the top and then scroll down and go to the downloads button. That is going to bring you to a Dropbox page. Um, on, let me actually go there. And here you're going to see a number of files and directories. The maps directory has all custom maps that I've made plus all of Canada and USA. So if you want to download any maps for the USA or other high res maps for other areas, they'll be in this section here. Um, what I, we're going to focus on today is the waypoint files. So today's file is called Fly360 Waypoints and then a date timestamp. As uh, that date timestamp will obviously increase as I update the database and uh, put more features in it. So go ahead and download this file. And while it is doing that, we are going to boot the uh, flight computer up. What we need to do is put this thing into Kobo mode. So uh, power the unit on, slide the power bar. All right, well, that's booting. Let's go to our, uh, our download here. And uh, you'll notice it's a, a zipped file. We're just gonna extract the contents. Uh, there's just two small files in it, um, a waypoints one file and a waypoints two file. Um, and at that point, our computer should be up and running here. Um, so we're going to click the Kobo button down here. Confirm exit, yes. And we're going to wait a minute and wait for the, uh, the device to reboot and uh, boot into Kobo mode. If you haven't configured your Kobo um, settings up yet. You're just going to get the default screen which says, uh, well you'll see it in a second. Um, so set up over Wi-Fi or don't have a Wi-Fi connection. What we're going to do here is we're just going to say I don't have a Wi-Fi connection and then it's going to ask us to connect our e-reader. So you're going to use your supplied USB cable, plug it into the bottom here, the right way. And what you want to see is the screen actually go black if my uh, PC, there we go. Okay, so once it goes black like this, whether it's on Mac or PC, the screen is going to go like this. Um, at this point, you should get a pop-up on your screen or um, a new icon on your desktop for the drive. It's going to be called Kobo e-reader. It'll assign it whatever drive letter is available on your system. In my case, it's F. Uh, so we're going to open up this directory here. Here is the general layout, if uh, GoPro will pick this up, of your file structure. Um, what we want to do is go to the LK8000 directory. We want to go to the waypoints directory. And we want to delete the two files that are here. Now these ones are already updated, but we're just going to go through the process anyway. Uh, whoops dislike my touchpad. Here we go. I'm going to delete these two, send them to trash. Yes. We're going to go to the um, files we just downloaded over here and extracted. We're going to copy them. We're going to go back to our Kobo drive and we're going to paste them into the waypoint database. Okay. Now if you were doing maps, for example, um, you would go to the underscore maps directory and you could paste your maps in here. If you were doing airspaces, you'd go to the underscore airspace directory and paste the airspaces in there. If you wanted to get your log files, you would go to the underscore logger directory and pull out your log files there. That includes your um, pilot's logbook is stored here in the logger directory. Once you've copied the files that you want to copy over, we are going to eject the drive. Um, so on PC, we click down here, safely remove and eject media. And we say eject Kobo e-reader. On a Mac, you're going to drag and drop the um, Kobo reader 
drive into the trash. Once that's done, we can disconnect the USB cable and uh, give the device a second and it's going to turn back on. At this point, we're just going to slide the power off for a couple seconds until the device turns off. Okay, it's now powered off. As we can see, powered off and we're going to power it back on. You need to wait 10-15 seconds for the files to write. Don't power it off and then power it back on right away, please. All right, so now we're going to power it back on. Okay, and this, uh, at this point we can go fly or simulate. We're gonna go simulation mode because I'm inside. I don't know if we'll get a GPS lock, but I probably will. Um, so we're gonna go simulate or fly. And wait for it to load the terrain files and the maps and the waypoints. Once we are up and running, what we're going to need to do is go into the configuration mode and point the software to the new waypoint files. Um, so we're going to go down here, we're going to click menu, we're going to go to configuration, configuration again, so we're on config page two at the bottom, LK8000 setup, and then system setup you're going to have a blank here under waypoint one and waypoint two because you just deleted the old ones and installed the new ones um, but either way you would click waypoint one and you're going to point the waypoint one to the fly 360 waypoint one underscore latest date time select uh, same with waypoints two you're going to put it to uh, point it to the waypoints two file select and you're done you have just updated the waypoint database if you're updating the airspace file, obviously it would be under airspace one. If you're updating the maps and the terrains, you would go to the map and the terrain file. And that is it. Okay. Any questions, shoot me an email, contact me on Facebook, however, text myself if you have it, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much.